What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. And Katie! Welcome to Venice, Florida. We just got off of exit 200, and we're going to drive you guys through Venice. And you guys love Venice. I want to send a special hug and salute and love to everybody that lives in Venice. In particular, the people that live in Venice now, thanks to our YouTube channel. It's quite a few of you guys. We get a lot of love out of Venice because a lot of people move to Venice because of our YouTube channel. And they're happy there. Yeah. So we're happy that you're happy because we brought you here. Now, on today's video, we're not going to... We're just driving through town. And that's okay because that's actually what a lot of you guys want. Like, just driving through Venice. Yeah, um, we're actually... Venice yeah, the whole, the whole Venice area. Venice is south of Sarasota, and as you guys know, Sarasota is freaking amazing. So, we're heading south, exit 200. This will join us up with US 41. And right now, we're kind of on the southern tip of the Sarasota metropolitan area. And we're going to drive clear through Venice. So, I'm excited. All these new communities, Katie, since you're a realtor, if you need help looking for a home here, I'd be more than happy to help you. Reach out to me. My phone number is 233-999-4-4-4-0-7-7-1-7-7-3. And you can reach out to me and we'll find the home that is best for you. You can call Katie or you can email her. K Rodriguez R O D R I G U E Z seven four at kw.com. dot com. Com 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 dot com dot com. Yes, reach out to Catherine the Great, and she will be glad to help you. Katie will be glad to help you with all your home needing needs. Now, we're only about 35 minutes from Lakewood Ranch where we live, so it's definitely not a hassle for her to come here to Venice. In fact, um, I would enjoy it. Yeah, so. Actually, I enjoy going anywhere. So if you want to go to Orlando, I'm cool. Yeah, and keep in mind, we're the YouTubers that were making videos about Venice and telling you about Venice before the people that live in Venice moved here before Katie was ever a realtor. So don't get it yep. twisted. Before I got a real estate license. Yeah, we've been helping people move to Venice before she was a realtor yes. through our YouTube video. So don't get me twisted with these other wannabe, wannabe YouTube realtors. Don't, don't flip the script I like on us. I helping people. If I feel like it's not something you want, is I might be like, okay, this might That's be more right. than you. I don't like sugarcoating things. I am not going to sugarcoat. We'll it. tell you how it is, man. I'll do. I'll work within the legalities, but. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. Like, so what's a nice house here in Venice going to run you? Like a small... There are. I, I was looking earlier, yeah. right? And I've seen houses in the Venice area for like, I kid you not, livable house for 300000 Yeah. And you're right outside of Sarasota. Three, hey, gas four, went, look, um, the gas is down 330. Depends on what you're looking for. Allison Aldi's right there. Dunk, oh, everything's like, they've built everything. so much yeah. out here. Yeah, I remember when this used to be like nothing. Were you guys surprised to see my Venice homeless camp videos? I bet not even the people that live in Venice knew that existed here. I was surprised. Yeah. I couldn't believe something like that existed in Venice. And I, and that's the thing. Like with our channel, we really discovered some awesome crap. Like we've really dug deep. And sadly, we're living in a world where it's everywhere. You know, it's, it's like it's you're not totally you're not gonna get away from it. You're not gonna no. get away from it anywhere. It's like even a beautiful place like Sarasota, Venice is going to have like homeless camps and stuff. I just couldn't believe how large they were. And same thing with Inglewood. Now, does that mean that the entire reputation no. of this place is now tainted? Because no, it's no. not. And there's problems everywhere. You know, I've been Uber driving a lot to Venice. And I'll tell you one thing I don't like about Venice. It seems like some of the people here are just kind of like, snob, not snobby, but like... What's that word I'm looking for? Grouchy. Kind of grouchy old people. I know as a realtor you're not allowed to talk about grouchy old people, but I'm not a realtor. I'll say it. There are a bunch of old grouches here. There's great people here. But among the great people, 
are a few old grouches. They're definitely not as hip as us in Lakewood Ranch. I think with Lakewood Ranch, we're like, ugh. We are so much more hip than you. I've almost stopped taking rides to Venice because they don't tip very well. Oh, okay. Even from, I had a guy who didn't tip from the airport. Can you believe that? I picked him up at the Sarasota airport, brought him to Venice, and he didn't tip. He, as That's soon as he was grouchy, he was like, as soon as he got on the ride, he was like, I'm not having a good day. I'm like, freaking great, get out and go home. Because I started Uber driving in the evenings for a little extra cash. And, um, and I, I think I, you enjoy it more than you make out of it. I do love the Uber driving. I don't yeah. even do it for the money at this point because there's not a lot of money in it. Yeah. I mean, if you can make a hundred bucks in six hours, you're lucky. It's not about the money. It's just, um, I like it. I actually do like the Uber driving. I like, I like the people. Most people are awesome. Actually, I have met some great people. Um, I met some people from Iowa that were pretty cool. They were in Venice and then went back to Sarasota. I do a lot of rides from South Sarasota to Venice. You get a lot of those. Or from Siesta Key. A lot of people here go to Siesta Key to drink. So you got to bring them back drunk. And um, They haven't been the most generous tippers, though, here in Venice. Huh. Venice, Dang it, Venice. Tip your Uber driver, Venice. Tip your yeah. Uber driver better, Venice. Dang well, it. If you eat if you're going out to dinner, if you're going anywhere, you You've should gotta be tip tipping. your yes. I mean, we're in a we're in a society. You where tip your Uber this driver. Is in Europe, where it's not common. Here, yes. that's how our leaving the people comas. make money. Yes, that's how they feed their families. Tip your yeah. Uber driver, Venice. That's the only thing I can say. say. It should be on the establishment. No, it's I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna say. Is it free one south or Venice? Let's take Venice. The bus route towards Venice. I don't know which one I'm supposed to take. That's a business. Well, either way. Business. I thought it was. Fine. Is that business? Yeah, it's bus business means. South. So when it says bus, it actually means business. Yeah. Yeah, we want to see businesses. But there's stuff here too, so it's not yeah. like. Oh, this is great, man. Oh yeah, there's a downtown yeah. right here. Venice is a great city. It really is. It's more laid back. It's a very laid back city. It's not a hip place yeah. at all. I only have one complaint here. Um. Hit me years more. Ago. No, the red tide. Oh, the red tide can be pretty horrendous. Yeah. yeah. That's why a lot of people are moving in the new communities east of Venice. Yeah. Look at this, man. It's still like a pretty well sweet town, let's be honest. Community, where a lot of people are saying it's the new Lakewood Ranch. I don't think so. No. I'm sorry to break your heart. Bless your heart for saying that. I would say more uh, River Ranch because you're just moving north, but... Bless... I yeah, you know, all the people moving to Walden Park are saying, it's the new Lakewood Ranch. I'm like, no, it's not. Shut your Lakewood mouth. Lakewood Ranch not. is the new Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch is the bomb, dude. We are so lucky to live there. I'm telling you, you got to be really thankful for what we have. And Lakewood Ranch is expanding, too. Lakewood Ranch is awesome. Yeah, it is. We are very fortunate to live in Lakehood Ranch. Yes, I like it. Yeah. <coughs> like... We have, like, last year and this year, we've had opportunities where we could move out, and I'm just like, I don't want to move. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's weird because, like, I wanted to move from one place to the next to the next, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm honestly feeling, well, for your real estate career to take off, we can't be moving every year. No. That's, we're, we're going to have to settle down somewhere, and I am in love with the Sarasota area. This is yeah. our downtown here. It's beautiful. It's, uh... We spent a lot of time in Venice right after Hurricane Ian destroyed Fort Myers. Yeah. And, uh... I'm just gonna tell somebody not to be an old grouch. Let's see if I can find somebody that can tell them not to be an old grouch. Oh, please don't talk to me. You're like, please don't ruin my real estate video, Jose. Yeah. <laughs> and you can tell that they're, they're surprised. They're keeping everything really oh, nice. Oh, it's a nice they're town. Nice it's town. They just need to tip me better, Venice. <laughs> non-tipping old grouches Aww. they do have a pier here yeah. but the water clarity here is never right you've noticed that compared to like sarasota or like like or uh yeah. or bradenton unfortunately see these people are nice they're not grouchy be like these people they're not grouchy at all they're nice they're nice veniceville take me home to the place in california that's actually in florida but it's actually like California. This place is awesome. This is our downtown. Ooh, the sun's behind us now. We get yeah. a better view. More colorful. Nice. Venice Venezuela, take me home 
to the place in Venezville, Venezville. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. But other than just too many <laughs> grouchy folks, that's about the only real problem here. Yeah. Non-taping grouchy old folks. I said it. There are uh, there's some nice new communities on the outskirts. What are the houses going for out there, Catherine Gray? Open up here. Well park. Um, park. Just about all the builders that are building Lakewood Ranch are just about building up here as well, aren't yeah. they? Just kind of roughly about the same. Yeah. Florida, you have. Is this guy wearing a Michigan shirt? New York City. And then I see. All right. I'm indecisive if no, I should. Oh, about this person's it. gonna go for it. Okay. All right, we're just gonna run these pedestrians over. Oh, this person's gonna hit us. I mean, I'm gonna think I'm hitando pila de viejo. Oh, I'm gonna fall for a Lakewood Ranch Where the cow once stood Where the cow once moved Ow. Where the cow once moved Lakewood Ranch There's still cows moving What are you talking not about? Not very many left at this point Let me just tell somebody not to be an old grouch Venice Olive Oil Company Vook. Vook. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Venice. Venecia de la Florida. Always when I need my phone, it never works. But for real, if you live yeah. in Venice and you're going to either sell a home or buy a home, use Catherine the Great. Yeah. We've done so many great things for this community. It's about time we make some money off of y'all. We've met, we've actually had a few subscribers that live in this area. Oh, we do need to visit somebody that recently moved. Maybe on the way out of here we can email them or text them. Uh, yeah, we, we've met a lot of people through YouTube in this community. We really have. It's awesome. Yeah. I, since considering I don't know who you're talking about, you'll tell me off camera? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One of my friends recently moved. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Not bad. It's a great little town. It really is. Uh, it's just okay. It works, and then instead of taking me to where I need to go, it like comes up with Kentucky. Kentucky, okay. Thank you. I think the other problem that we encounter in Venice is like teenage delinquency. For some reason, we don't understand because it's not really a bad place. Seems like like the last few times we were here, we've always seen young kids doing bad stuff. But uh, kind of aggressive driving in that truck right there. That guy in that truck, you need to slow that piece of crap down. You're gonna blow a head gasket like McC You know, there's a famous YouTuber that lives right in Lake Ranch. And now it's not us. Up with okay. My His name is uh, Cletus McFarland, I think. Okay. He 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 bought a truck the same color as ours. Exactly our pickup truck, but instead of four door, it's a two door. Mm -hmm. And he's he gift he gifted it to somebody, mm -hmm. and the guy who who got it blew the engine while picking it up. So they had to like put another engine in it. How? Tell you what, you need to slow that truck down down there. Tell you what, that's a girl. All right. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't just hit on her in front of you. I expected it to be a guy. I didn't think a girl could drive something that cool and that aggressive. It's a girl. Wow. Yeah. These are some rough girls out here. I'll tell you what. You know, if you get a girl from Venice and, you know, you got to have dinner made for her when she gets home and yeah. make sure. That's a female driving that thing aggressively down there. I thought that was a guy. I'm sure. Is that her boyfriend's truck or is that her truck? I don't know. It could just be She looks like the type of girl that would beat the boyfriend. Like, the boyfriend be at home, like, cooking for her and stuff. She's a very aggressive female. Look at these coconut trees. Gorgeous. Sorry about that, honey. I didn't know you were there. Yeah. I was just like awestruck that it wasn't. I really expect. When I saw a girl driving that, I was like, wow. Yeah. A girl can be that aggressive? Well, I can be aggressive. <laughs> I'm, be aggressive. <laughs> I'm just about getting ready to beat the crap oh, out yeah. of you. <laughs> like, wow. If I had a woman like that, I'd have dinner ready for her when she got home. Well, I'll be taking our truck and going out by myself. Uh, I'll meet you at home, and I'll just be driving around in my truck. What? 
That's how, that's already what you do to my life. You just spend my money. That's painful enough already. I love coconut trees. I want to have a coconut tree one day. Yeah, I mean, this whole diet thing and me eating quite a bit of salmon kind of bothers you. Look at how aggressive she is. Like, she's like ramming her truck into people and stuff. Yeah. I lost six pounds. Well, you had a little... Yeah, I wouldn't stress the truth that far. Look at how aggressive she drives. She just like tailgates people out of the way and stuff. That's a woman right there. Yeah. I'm going 70 right now, so she's got to be going like 80. Maybe 100. Wow. Of course, you've been driving 80, 100. I'd die if you're driving. Oh, I did once. Um... Look at that, she's you just like, she likes to tailgate people. You want me to tell you the first time I drove over a hundred? She likes to tailgate yeah. people, look at that, that's awesome. That's a woman right there. Yeah. Alright. She's like vaping too. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Do you what want me a woman. to tell you about the first time I drove over a hundred? You've driven over a hundred? When was that? Uh, a few years ago. Remember, we had to drive someone back in their car and I was the one driving their car. Am I, uh, was it a black SUV? No, no. I don't think it was a black, I think it was a car, I don't remember what car it was, but I had to drive that car. Was it a Jaguar? No. What car was it? Uh, if I say it, you'll know. It yes, was tell me. It one of your family members. Well, I don't know which car you're talking about, which, what car was it? I think it was a Shmoyota. A Toyota. I don't exactly. You've driven 100 miles per hour in a Toyota? Oh my. The person, the passenger wasn't sober. If that tells you anything. It was like 10 years ago. Over 10 years ago now. You've driven a car at 100 miles an hour? Yeah. What type of Toyota was it? Everybody in my family has a Toyota. That's not very... Uh, if I tell you the color, you'll know. Purple. A purple Toyota? Who the crap or is... Or Lexus. It might have been a Lexus. I don't know. You're not even at the right brand. Who the crap is that? A purple Lexus. I can't even remember that. It was uh, such a long time ago. I have no idea what you're even talking about. Not even I know what you're talking about. Uh, you were in a car with just your dad. If that tells you. And I was with the Katie, rest I have no idea what you're talking about. I okay, literally... I was driving around one of your family members. They weren't sober. In Don't the bark seat. at me. <laughs> they weren't sober in the passenger seat. That uh, we had hit a toll plaza. Where was this? Like we were leaving Naples and going across the state, and I was driving them back. I have no idea what you're talking about. I really don't. <laughs> Literally no idea what you're talking about. Your uncle. Oh. Yeah. He had a purple Toyota? I, I think it was a purple Toyota. Where were we driving him to? Uh, back to his house because... Was he, it like from the East Coast to, to Lehigh? No, it was from... Vero? It was from Naples back to where he lives. He came... You know, we went to somewhere with a pool. It was a big party. We had a pork. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, that so I'm was... not even thinking about the right uncle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I was driving back, and he's like, you need to go faster so we can catch up with that. Okay, yeah. We were and driving like, somebody who was drinking. I remember yeah. that day, yeah. Yeah, so he's like, go fast. She's like, oh, you really went fast. I'm like, well, you told me to keep going faster when I was already going 75. <laughs> The fastest I've ever driven a car. Yeah. Okay, so eventually now we have to get back on 75. Is it on Jacaranda? Because if not, we'll end up in Norfolk. Um, okay, it's probably like, yeah. So I ended up driving him back. And everyone was like, well, I don't know. Okay. If you keep going, I think you'll get back pretty one. The fastest I've ever driven a car. Or Mineral Springs. If you say I'm 41, you should be good. 
Well, then we'll end up in Northport in 10 miles. We want to do, want to do a Northport video? I guess. That's the only way to get back. I mean, you pretty much, unless you want to turn... North again? Turn on Jack Around and go north. Mm. But it's actually closer to do, uh, go to Punta Gorda. Alright. We could do like a whole Charlotte County drive as well. Yeah. And then see the family down there. Well, okay, the fastest I've ever driven a car, I think, is 146 miles an hour. In I think the night fastest was like 102, 103. Okay. And I, I don't drive fast. No. I don't uh, let you. I don't even let you drive the speed limit, you scare me. So, the fastest I've ever driven a car, I think, is 146. Yeah. I was 15 years old. And uh, I was in a 1993 Mercedes-Benz E300. And me and my friend Gabby were coming back from a party at 2 in the morning in Golden Gate City. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you want to think you weren't supposed to at your age? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Oh, you're here. Um, no, we were yeah. uh, coming back from the mall in Naples at 1 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you think I'm, like, some buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you get mad when I tell stories like this. It's like... You get all, like, who are you with everything? What were you doing? I was like 15 or 16. Yeah, I was 15. I was like the most chill child. Like, I only got Katie, trouble, like, please, once, I've heard your story. Oh, please, I've heard stories about you from your parents. Don't give me that crap. Anyways, fastest I've ever driven a car is 146 miles an hour. I was 15 or 16 years old in a 1993 Mercedes Benz 500E on Interstate 75 between Golden Gate and uh, Mockley Road in Naples. Then, I drove 123 miles per hour. Remember, the, you didn't get to see the 944 I had? The, yeah, I was with you. You got to see the red 944? I was never in it, but I was in a car that towed it to Miami. Oh, yeah, I still had the 944. Well, that car, I did 123 miles per hour in that car. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not scary? Yeah. And then, um... I really, like... Looking back on it now, I think it would have been really cool to have that car, but I think you... My cousin needed it. Yeah. My cousin had one just like it he needed it for parts. Yeah. And I had gotten in trouble with that car so much that my yeah. parents were like, get rid of that thing. Yeah. So the other car... You gotta stop for the school bus, right? Yeah. Um, the other car... You remember when we had that uh, Sebring? The purple convertible Sebring? Oh, yeah. We did 134. Four miles an hour in that one. Yeah. Sarasota National Golf Course. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to let you go, buddy. Just simply because, yeah, I'm going to let you go because, well, you took advantage of the school bus. And you're hauling tractor, so I don't really have a choice. Can't really ram it off. I will take a traffic in my tractor truck. Yeah. Now everybody's, he needs to get back in the other lane probably, but now nobody will let him because they're all passing him on the right lane. Like they're not supposed to do that. So now, I'm sure he wants to get in the right lane, but now he can't because everybody's passing him on the right. That's the thing about idiots in Florida. You know, they're a bunch of dang idiots Are you going to do it too? Oh, absolutely. A bunch of idiots, you know? So... So, um, the other thing would have been, what other cars have we driven fast in? Okay, so remember the black, uh, Silverado we had? Yeah. It has an electronic limiter at 106. You hit that. I hit that in Ohio. Mm -hmm. That sounds wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, you hit it in Florida before we even left the state. <laughs> but I, that, no, in Ohio was when I discovered it. Yeah. I discovered it had an electronic limiter at 106 in Ohio. So this one will have it too. Yeah. I've, I don't think I'll ever... I think the fastest I've probably driven this truck is maybe 90. Yeah. Not even. Wow, we haven't gone fast in this truck yet. <laughs> it says it's well, supposed with to go these new, 40. So. No, it's electronic limited at 106. Yeah. Well, the thing is that with these new laws in Florida, I would actually be afraid to get caught going that fast because you might get arrested. Yeah. With the new laws they got now. I might, I'd have to, maybe when we go to a different state that isn't as strict. 
Let's go. You guys want to race? All right, let's go. Go. They won. I think they won. They definitely won. No, they're letting you win at this point. Yeah, they won. Yeah. They definitely won. Okay. They definitely won. Northport. We're coming to Northport. Oh, this yeah, is we're in Northport. Cool. Call this video Sarasota County. Oh, they're slowing down. They really want to do this. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm, they I'm not really going to You're going to race some girls, Jose. I'm good, man. All right, so now we're in uh, Northport, but that gets at the art. <laughs> 